¡Hola, Lofrín! ¿Qué tal estás? ¿Ya estás en Madrid? ¡No lo sabía! ¡Ano ang pinagsasabi mo! ¡Di kita ma-understand! ¿Te interesa aprender español? ¿Ano? ¡Hahanapan mo ako ng jowa ng español! ¡Bet ko lang! ¡No, Lofrín! ¡Ang sabi ko! Kung gusto mong matuto ng Espanyol. Oo naman, para magkajowa ako ng Espanyol. <laughs> Katawa ka talaga. Si quieres aprender, vamos a la clase de Profe B. Let's go! Vamos! Hello guys, welcome to our humble abode, the LBG Productions. Okay, for today we are going to continue conjugating verbs. Okay? And today we have two students and they are very interested to learn Spanish. Están muy interesadas aprender el idioma castellano. Let's meet them. Les vamos a conocer. Our two students today are so beautiful. Las dos chicas son guapas. Hola, buenos días. ¿Qué tal estáis? ¿Todo bien? Hola, profe. Buenos días. Sí, estoy bien. Hola, profe. Buenos días. Yo también. Estoy bien. ¿Estáis listos? ¡Sí, profe! Entonces, ¡vamos a comenzar! Welcome back guys and thanks for tuning in. Hoy vamos a conjugar los verbos. We are going to conjugate verbs in the future tense. As we all know, verbs are words that show state of being or show action. There are several ways to show or express future actions in Spanish. Okay, if you are planning to do something in the future or do something later, then use the future tense of the verbs. Okay, like in English, I will celebrate Christmas with the whole family. We are going to have dinner on the Christmas Eve. Mean the action is to be done in the future. How do we say them in Spanish? Let's find out through this vlog. Vamos a descubrir varias maneras de expresar verbos en futuro. Alright, so take note of this, guys. Okay, in Spanish, verbs may normally end in R or AR, ER, and IR. Examples to buy, comprar, to cook, cocinar, to pay, pagar. Okay, comprar, cocinar, and pagar are AR ending verbs. Okay, to watch, ver, to get, coger, to eat, comer, ver, coger, and comer are ER ending verbs. To write, escribir, to go, ir, and to sleep, dormir. So, escribir, ir, and dormir are examples of verbs that end in IR. Okay, so take note of this, guys. So, verbs in Spanish end in A R E R N I. All right, guys. So basically, it's very important for us, okay, of course, to know the Spanish, okay, words or the words in Spanish, okay, because these are our foundation whenever we are going to conjugate them, because there are varied ways, okay, there are different tenses, okay, of verbs in Spanish, okay. So that's why it's very important for us to master the verbs. All right, so we are going to start with the simple future tense. All right, so let's take for instance the AR ending verbs. Okay, an example for that is amar, which means to love. Now, how do we say or how are we going to show the future, the simple future of amar? Amare, amara, amara, amaremos, amareis, amaran. Okay, so you notice, guys, that okay for the first person it ends with e, second person a, and third person singular a. Okay, for the first person plural we o nosotros hemos. Second person plural vosotros eis. And of course, the third person plural. Ellos o ellas o ustedes 
Ahan. So let's try to recall the A, R, N, D first. Amar. Amare. Mm -hmm. Amaras. Mm -hmm. Amara. Amaremos. Amareis. Amaran. Alright, so we are going to use this termination, this NT, to form, okay, the future tense of the ER and the IR ending verbs. Okay, let's take for instance the verb which means, okay, to eat. Comer. Comer. Comeré. Comerás. Comerá. Comeréis. Comerán. Muy bien. Okay, let's take the IR ending verb which means to live. Vivir. Viviré. Vivirás. Vivirá. Viviremos. Viviréis. Vivirán. Okay. Viviré. Vivirás. Vivirá. Viviremos. Viviréis. Vivirán. Okay, so that is how to express, okay, the future tense. Okay, that is the simple future tense in Spanish. Alright, so we have the endings. E, as, a, hemos, eis, an. Alright, so the first things that we have just conjugated are regular verbs to show future actions. Okay, let's also have these irregular verbs to show simple future. An example is, okay, the verb to have. And that is, in Spanish, to have means... Tener. Right, so we are going to add these suffixes to be able to form also the irregular verbs to show future tense. So we still have, we are going to use still the e, as, a, hemos, eis, and an. Okay, for example, I will have. Tendré. You will have. Tendrás. Tendrá. Tendremos. Tendréis. Tendrán. Alright, so let's try to form the future tense of these irregular verbs. Okay, venir. Vendré. Vendrás. Vendrá. Vendremos. Vendréis. Vendrán. El verbo poner, which means to put. Pondré. Pondrás. Pondrá. Pondremos. Pondréis. Pondrán. El verbo poder. Podré. Podrás. Podrá. Podremos. Podréis. Podrán. Let's also have the verb to know, saber. Sabré. Sabrás. Sabrá. Sabremos. Sabráis. Sabrán. Let's also have the verb to say, which is decir. Diré. Dirás. Dirá, diremos, diréis, dirán. What about the verb valer? Valdré, valdrás, valdrá, valdremos, valdréis, valdrán. Okay, so it's easy guys. So by simply using these suffixes, then it would be easier for us again to conjugate the verbs, be it the regular or irregular verbs. Take note of these suffixes, the e, as, a, emos, eis, and an. So these suffixes are applicable to both okay, the regular and irregular verbs to indicate future tense. Alright, so we are going to show now the other way of expressing or indicating future tense. So this is the informal future. So the informal future in Spanish is, okay, we use the pattern ir, a, plus the infinitive. Okay, so in Spanish, ir means go. So il, a, plus infinitivo. Okay, so that's what we call the informal future. Now, how are we going to conjugate the informal future? So the verb that we are going to use is the verb ir, which means to go. So example, the first person, I am going, Boy. you are going, second person, Pass. third person, he or she or it is going, Va. First person plural, we are going. Vamos. Second person plural, you are going. Vais. And the third person plural, they are going. Van. Okay, so we are going to use this conjugated verbs. Okay, the word ear or the verb ear. Voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, and van. Okay, example. 
Tomorrow, I am going to eat breakfast with Joy Sartilio channel. Mañana, voy a desayunar con Joy Sartilio channel. Tomorrow, you are going to cut the grasses with Hathor Lucas. Mañana, vas a cortar los espedes con Hathor Lucas. Yes, Liddy is going to celebrate her birthday tomorrow. Yes, Liddy va a celebrar su cumpleaños mañana. This evening, Monang Ming and I are going to decorate the house. Esta noche, Monang Ming y yo vamos a adornar la casa. This afternoon, you are going to buy presents for Christmas. Esta tarde, vosotros vais a comprar los regalos para Navidad. Tomorrow, Pinaizek and All About Lou are going to bake a cake. Mañana, Pinaizek y All About Lou van a preparar una tarta. When the action is immediate in the future, then we are going to use the informal future. So we are going to use voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, and van, plus a, plus the infinity. In Spanish, another way to show future action is the simple present tense in English. We use the simple present tense to show a future action. Like, for instance, I eat toasted bread tomorrow in Spanish. Mañana desayuno tostadas. Alright, so we will be focusing more on the simple present tense on our next lesson. But that is another way to show future action in Spanish. And of course, the last way to show future tense is, okay, we use the word pensar, which means to think, okay, plus the infinitive. Mañana pienso desayunar tostadas. Alright, so we are going to use also the verb to think, which is pensar plus infinitive. So, if we are going to conjugate also the verb pensar, to think, so that is first person. Pienso. Second person, piensa. Third person, piensa. First person plural, pensamos. Second person plural, pensáis. And third person plural, piensan. Another example, for instance, for this pattern, pensar plus infinitivo. Tomorrow, I think going to the city proper. Mañana pienso ir al centro. Okay, so those are the varied ways, okay, some manners to show future actions in Spanish. Okay, let's have some exercises. Okay, el verbo viajar. El TV channel informantera Nelia viajarán a Londres. El verbo salir. Esta tarde, Yoro Boom Booms. Saldrá un poco antes del despacho. The verb which means to correct, corregir. Profesor Roberto Jordan corregirá nuestros ejercicios. The verbs abrir y cerrar which mean open and close. Este próximo domingo la tienda de Karim TV abrirá por la mañana y cerrará por la tarde. Alright, so we have used the simple future tense for these sentences. Alright, so that ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much. Adios. Adios. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego. Chao. Chao.